Hi, this is Disney Media with Brian Cox today. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm fine, Jenny. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Um, how does it feel to have been elected rector twice? Uh, it's great. I mean, I've been... I mean, it's, um, I don't think my ha family are very happy because they all live in America and I hardly ever see them. So, uh, but no, I, I'm, I'm delighted to be... I mean, there's a lot of... You know, when you start something like this, and you, especially if you decide that you're going to be a little bit more proactive than just sort of a figurehead sitting there with your photographs all over the place, uh, you know, you get involved. And there's so much here that's going on, and there's so much that's happening and with the university and the way it's become the number one university in Scotland and the way it do says one of the great unions, if number two in Britain or number one, I can't remember what the figures are, but you know what I mean. And so you, you really want to actually see things through. So two, two terms, one is saw things through, but I'll probably try and go for a third term because I'm, I'm just, I just think there's so much that I want to see happen in this university, you know, and it, and it has begun to happen. With it being recently one University of the Year, what do you think about this and do you think there's still ways that the University can improve? Yeah, I mean, there's always ways the University can improve, particularly in terms of its profile, I mean, its actual profile for the students. I think DUSA needs revamping. I think we need to get some money together and make it the sort of um, space that reflects number one University of Scotland because they've done a tremendous job. At the moment, you know, the, I don't think the conditions are still in the 1960s over there, you know, and it needs, it needs space and it needs to really organise this place. We're in one of the meeting rooms now, but the whole thing, I think, needs to be physically rethought. Um, and I think we need a proper... I would like to see a proper kind of really gallery for the museum. Oh, sorry, a gallery sort of museum gallery for the university of all the university's achievements and so we can show you know like we've got a lot of artwork in this place that we never see it's hidden away so there's there should be a building that can reflect the history of the museum the, i keep saying museum sorry the history of the university a kind of you know which is a practical living thing that isn't a museum yeah. you know but is actually and i that's one of the ambitions i'd like to see happen i'd like to see this the kind of sense of achievement that's gone on here, particularly in, in all the various schools. You know? um, with this idea of revamping, obviously Dundee itself is going through a massive revamp. Um, with the v &A coming in the next couple of years, what are your thoughts on the project and what it will bring to Dundee as a whole? Well, I think it's going to make Dundee like the Bilbao of the North. and. Uh, because that's the other formidable uh, museum uh, built by uh, Frank Geary, and I think there's this the gentleman whose name I can't pronounce who's built this one. It's pretty amazing design, and I think it's going to be the centerpiece. But then I think it it, it focuses refocuses Dundee in a way as a as a place of learning, a place of understanding, and and the university reflects that. And I, feel, I think physically we should, as I've been saying, we should come up to date as well in order to reflect what's going on down on the city front. I mean, I think it's a very, that's one of the reasons I want to, I, I'd like to do, I, 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 I'd like to do another term here because I want to see that come to fruition, you know. It's just, you know, it's a very exciting time and this has been a very exciting time for me. I've loved being the rector of this university. I, you know, fortunately I have to work so I can't do as much as I can do, but when I can, I'm, I try to be here as much as I can. And just to see the way the library functions now, to see this, the student body, and the fact that, that, that really um, a lot of things have really come to fruition over the last six years, and I'd like to see even more. There's a lot more to do, you know. There's a lot more to establish, um, particularly in the humanities section of the university. And there's a lot to reflect, and you know, when I went Today I went and saw something, and I, suddenly there was a, a Peplo painting and a, um, a Leslie Hunter, who we were part of the Scottish colorists. I didn't even know they were here. You know, so it was a big surprise to me. So we need we need to show 
our value, really. And it's very important for the students, so when they come, they need to know what the university is, what, what this amazing university is. All the original Patrick Geddes drawings, for instance, for the original Dundee, that he had these water, which are actually in the Queen's Hotel here. We should try and get them back, and we should or at least get copies and show what the idea was behind, which took over a hundred years to actually sort it out. You know. and, and finally, as you'll be going for a third term, do you have anything to say to the students? Well, I'm going to ask you to vote for me, <laughs> um, and I would still try and maintain the rigour that I've hopefully done over the last uh, six years and be your ambassador. Um, one I think is going to be as important as ever was and then I'll be ready to move on but uh, I just there's just so much to do and I'd like to see it finished. Thank you for speaking with us. You're welcome.